Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. As a point of interest, uh, as I was loading into the save, it did say that the difficulty was 100% impossible. So you know, yeah, it might not be the easiest path we've ever had through. I don't think it's impossible, we already have an heir, we have our sibling as our heir. All we have to do is survive 10 years and we'll be fine. As in either of us have to survive 10 years and we'll be fine. So that's not too bad, I'd say she'd have to survive 14 years. Anyway. We have our next two courtiers. We have Justin Benson. He is an old friend of, well, he's a friend, he was, I suppose, a friend of Urus's. And he got drunk and, you know, they had adventures together and eventually he was kicked out by Urus's father in an attempt to, you know, make Urus um, a little bit more responsible. It's like, you can't just go drinking with your friends anymore. We're gonna send your friend away. So he went away. He went off and he, he became a mercenary. He went and uh, he started working for Aegon, and he started working for all sorts. But uh, at the end of that, he had a mercenary company who Urus at some point had de uh, dealings with. And uh, yes, he was wounded, so he came to Urus's court and he has been here ever since. Well, I suppose he just kind of got here looking at him because he's still wounded, so. He just got here and this is where he is. He's found out that Urus has just died from choking on something and he's still kind of recovering here. We also have, um, I also need to set these guys special interest. Should probably do this between episodes, but anyway. We have Malus Blackfire. He is somebody who is completely mad. People believe that he believes that he is, you know, the, he is somebody who was part of a great house far in the future and he, he was part of a, some great battles and uh, ev everyone else thinks he's just mad. So he's hanging around here as well. Right, let's uh, fill up our remaining positions. So we have Maester. We actually have a Maester who for some reason isn't selected. We'll put in our Maester. We also need to pick a treasurer. Uh, how about we make that Justin? He seems to be the best treasurer we have available right now. Yeah, Justin. He can do that while he's uh, recovering. Uh, we'll have Agor scheming. We'll have Justin collecting taxes. We'll have you performing charity. Uh, you're cha training children. You're improving diplomatic relations with our liege. And you are probably overseeing the province. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do we have any more space on our council? No, it's as full as it can be. All right then. Oh yeah, we have one spare space, but that's for our regent, who is Arwen, our mother. So what's our council looking like? It's all pragmatists right now. They'll go for Path of Root Least Resistance. They're happy to, uh, yeah, they support wars of reclaiming de jure land or provinces with the ruler's culture and wars against weak opponents. We have three glory hounds who want to just war against people who are stronger than us. Uh, we have one zealot person, zealous person, who is um, our priest, which kind of makes sense. And we have no, no malcontent and no loyalist. Okay. Now, I do want to check. No, where am I looking? Uh, I need to be in a different tab. I want to check the realm's laws in Westeros, I think. Uh, okay. I just want to see if there's anything like... Because it appears like we couldn't raid, which is something I wanted to check here. It might not be a law. It might be like a another thing that we need to look at. And no, none of those, definitely. Not first night. We can't scroll here, can we? No. Can't scroll here, can't scroll here. Interesting. So I can't see any specific laws uh, that would govern us. Okay. Because it seems like we're not able to loot. So let's raise up our troops. I just want to have a look at this again. Maybe it was... Yeah, we can't toggle looter. Owner is not allowed to loot. Okay, why are we not allowed to... Um, I mean, we weren't allowed to loot when we were playing as Urus either. I guess it's just, it must be law. Anyway, I guess we'll just be educated for a while. Oh, we got council discontent. Really not something we need to worry about. We need to put some special positions. Suppose we could put in some bodyguards. Uh, who is best at martial? Uh, Malus, he can be our bodyguard. That's fine. We also have... Uh, we don't really have that many other options. We could have the two Croms as our bodyguards, but that's fine. Also, why do we have two identical courtiers in our court? Like, we ha oh, that's our grandfather 
and our courtier. Both are identical. Huh. That's weird. Why? So, Krom is obviously the father of our, of our mother. And other Krom... They're the same person. Okay. I see. For some reason, we can see multiple versions of them in that menu. Let's not worry about it. Anyway, let's speed up the game a little bit. And get into it. The invitations have been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. The guests better arrive. The best will arrive soon. Better get on to it. The best part about preparing a feast is to deciding what food stuff to serve. I must prefer venison. I must purchase venison, pork, ducks, and spices, wine, and ale and honey for the desserts, cheese, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. Um. Well. I'm going to spend enough to satisfy hunger. This isn't a big feast. This is a uh, funeral. Yes. Okay. The wandering minstrel entered the castle singing and did not stop until he found me. What a flourishing bow and... With a flourishing bow and one long sad tune from his lute, he finished his song and asked for my patronage. Hmm. I don't think we're... We're going for song. All the guests have arrived. It, there is only one guest. It's just our one. Our mother. <coughs> Vanessa Tar Targaryen died from severe maiming. She also had gonorrhea and was a lunatic. Okay. That means her dragon is now away. Yeah, that means her dragon's now somewhere else. Okay. That's interesting. We'll see how that goes. Um, Wait, they had another sibling? It was slain by Othar Hor before the game started. Okay. Wait, I probably should have not... Uh, that wasn't really what I wanted to do. Oh, that's Oris. Oh, Oris Baratheon. Yes, I knew they had another sibling. I didn't realize he'd already been killed in our game. In our world. Oh. Okay, but he had married. Interesting, but the Baratheons are not going to be around. Summer is nearly at an end, so autumn and the harvest upon us. The feasting shall celebrate this time with the food from throughout Saltcliffe, including boar, gooseberries, salmon, and lobster brought to Saltcliffe. As part of this, you must decide how much of the harvest is set aside for winter. Um, we'll have large winter reserves. That's fine. The funeral. It's been a day since Lord Urus passed away. The stronger, the strongest reavers and the kin of the dead have gathered in the keep. Where a drowned man is brought in to check the deceased. That should be where a drowned man is brought in to check the deceased. Then, the assembled party lift up the body and carry it from the keep to a waiting ship and sailed out into the open sea where the anchor is cast. The drowned men gathers up the seawater and sprinkles it upon the dead, speaking the ancient words. Of the rites completed, each member of the conclave comes together to recount memories of the deceased, of the great reaving major boarding actions, and many treasures paid for with the iron price. As the sun falls, the drowned man ties off the body and it is cast overboard with the words, What is dead may never die, but rises again, harder and stronger. So it is done. Lord Oris Serpentil died in an accident on the 9th of September, 8004, at age 26. He was a man who was known to be compassionate as well as possessing immense strength. He was a competent swordsman, but not a warrior song songs are written of. And we are it is done. He is uh, gone, and we'll just have to live without him. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say the dragons live once more and that Dowager Queen Valena, Valerian, now rides Vagar into battle. So that is the mother of Aegon now rides um, Valerian into battle. That's interesting. She might be a little bit old for that, but, you know, whatever. That's, um, if that's what she wants to be doing. Nobody's going to question it. She has a dragon. Oh. Lord James was just slain by Lothar Nestor. Um... What was he doing? I, on his reaving, he was just slain. Oh, okay. So we now have um, his son in charge, Lord Manfred Ironfoot. Okay, he's also no longer our chief general. We need a new general. We have a new position open. Uh, let's put him in. Master of Arms. I guess we're going to put in Malus. That just makes the most sense. It, it does seem like we have two Croms. One's the, the Wolf at age 80. I don't know. Something will happen to him. Eventually, they'll go away. Malus. There we go. And we will get him to train children. Yeah, that's great. We're going to learn from the uh, complete mad... I'm going to learn from the complete madman. Oh, yeah. Do we need a guardian or is our mother fine? Um, She's also with child, which is I did not notice. Interesting. Another 
Um, another serpent tail? Yeah, maybe. I suppose we could be educated by someone else. It would almost make sense for us to be educated by the Master of Arms, given he is training us. Or our maester or a drowned man. Let's look at uh, who has the most... Wait, so if we go... Oh, we can't choose an educator right now because we're only five. Yeah. Okay, we don't have proper education yet. When is our birthday? Our birthday is... Um... 29th of April. Okay. So, on the 29th of April, I think we'll be able to choose people because we will be um, six. Which is the old age for choosing an educator. And... Um, oh, Stonecrow's called in a favour from Rakaro. Interesting. I wonder what favours they're working on. Probably voting with them in the council. 29th. There we go. Can we choose an educator now? Yeah, we can choose an educator. So, we want to look for somebody who has high learning. Hmm. You have high learning. True. So is our mother, actually. Our mother is not the worst option in the world to educate us. Uh, the one below, Meredith, would be alright as well. She has good stats as well. Uh, and, yeah, okay, we'll... Wait, her opinion of us is that low. What's our opinion of her? My opinion of her is low. It'd probably be Arwen's opinion of her, but... Um... Yeah, okay, we'll choose Meredith, I guess? She seems like the best balance option. Let's be choose Ricaro because he's our Castilian. Yeah, okay, we'll choose our Castilian, maybe. That's something we can do. And we hate him a little bit less. So we're now being educated by the Dothraki. Uh, really? He has a father that was aut I guess this father must have been automatically generated because we didn't- I didn't put in a father for him originally. Interesting. Uh... That's an interesting thing. I wonder if that's a bug that's go that's uh, gonna pop up, or whether that's something we need to be worried about. Anyway, a daughter, another daughter was born to uh, Urus called Frin. Oh, but she died stillborn. Oh. Okay. Well, we only have one proper sister then. Oh, looks like that's the end of the Lannister army. Yeah, it's going down pretty badly. These two wars of emancipation are not going to. Uh, end well for the people that declared them. Winter is coming. Yes, we knew. We had to save uh, food for winter, apparently. <laughs> At age 81, Krom died a natural death. That's our grandfather, Krom, died a natural death. His other Krom, does he still exist? Other Krom does in fact exist and is still our bodyguard at age 81. Okay, cool. That's weird. Okay, don't need to worry about it though. Hopefully. Uh, people are being released from King Aegon of Westeros' dungeons. That's, uh, fine. It's kind of just what you expect. The Reach has taken the Lordship of Stonebridge from Mervyn Caswell. And has taken the High Lordship of Tumbletown from Lord Robert of Tumbletown. You asked Rakaro to teach you how to fight better with a sword. Stick him with a pointy end. Ah, we are now a poor fighter. Yeah, fantastic. High Priest Guavo. What a name. As um, ransomed uh, Luko from King Mern. I Septim has ransomed Sir Mairn from the clutches of King Mern. Lord Dale, after consultation with my council, I've decided to enact a, a law changing the rules of succession in the Iron Isles. Succession shall now shall hereby be determined by absolute agnatic inheritance with only male heirs allowed to inherit. Signed, Lord Paramount Harren of House Hoare. Um, that shouldn't affect us, because we only have one person in line, I think. Also, I don't think it specifically affects ours. Yes, ours are still agnatic, cognatic. So, um, yeah, that's fine. I was invited to the servants' quarter to eat cake with them tonight, but just as I was going there, it started raining. I can make it if I run. Uh, there's a chance to make it with no effort, or a chance of being out in the cold t too long, or... I don't want to get wet, I'll wait. We can be fussy. Hmm. You know what? We'll make it if we can run. We'll try. Oh no. Made it to the servants' quarters, but I got very wet. We had a good time, and they felt sorry for me having to go out in the cold. In two diplomacy, but I'm also ill. Oh no. Well, hopefully we don't die. 
That would be, uh, that would be very bad. I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. That would be awful. What age is our sister right now? Two. Yeah, we've, okay. So it crashed, but it crashed on the autosave. So we're going to keep going for just now because, uh, that's fine. It did actually save the autosave. So we'll keep going. We have some ideas of where some weird stuff might be happening. It might be happening with family members of um, some of our custom courtiers, like, um, where was it? Uh, like Ricaro having, being son of Zakaro who doesn't exist and things like that. And other such weird uh, anomalies. Meredith Lydon also has a father. You know, um, I wonder if this happens for all of them. Agor? Has, Cro has his father also named Crom, who was identical to our father, Crom. I wonder if that happens with, is that happened with the newer ones. Malus does not have a father. And Justin... Justin... Do also does not have a father. Interesting. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. It shouldn't be a problem, but we'll keep going. Game should only uh, even think about crashing on auto saves, which is uh, every six months, so we should be fine. Anyway, what else is happening? Marjorie died a natural death. She was married to King Mern. He might be looking for a new wife soon. Um, we're almost seven. We're almost a seven-year-old. And we're seven. Fantastic. Feel much older. Uh, these past few weeks, Malus has been drilling me with the uses of swords and lances. The instruction has been harsh and stern, but my prowess has increased. Cool. Cool. More people being released. We're no longer ill. That's good. Very good, in fact. And we'll keep going. Um, yup. Yeah. Nothing else to really uh, focus on. Uh, anything else we're looking at? Well, the boars. Uh, it looks like the rock actually got some percentage back, as did the north. Maybe after there being some... Somebody die? Nope. Um, maybe after um, Aegon lo losing his wife, like, some things went badly with his dragon. The dragon army. Also, it looks like uh, the rock have managed to actually land someone on the island. Mountain Vale inherited Lordship of Whitecliff. Cool. Cool. Be interesting if Aegon loses this war to see what happens. Caucus went to usurp the castle of uh, Dunstanbury, and the High Lordship of Co and the High Lordship of Caucus went from uh, Mern of Starpike. Okay, so now it's oh, it's just a peak taking it from a peak. Cool. Fingers crossed, game doesn't crash. It didn't crash. Fantastic, amazing. Peasants Revolt was declared. Um. Lay good keep declared a war against the tyranny. We're still kind of waiting for our ch ourselves to uh, get older. The only thing about us right now is we're a trained fighter. There's absolutely nothing else about us, which is interesting. Uh, people buying favors. There are a couple of raiders appearing. Wait, are we allowed raiders now? Are we allowed raiders? No raiders. Okay. Um, it says Pe Lord Meldred of Pebbletown has arrived. Where who is Lord Meldred of Pebbletown? I like that was that's the person I want on this to see. Uh, is this Pebbletown? That's Black Tide, Orc Mount. Pebbletown's probably one of these smaller ones now that I think about it. Oh there it is, Pebbletown. Lord Meldred. So he's allowed to raid. So the Iron Isles are allowed to raid. But the um Yeah, but we're not. I, okay, so that's because we're still underneath Westeros. Maybe the Iron Owls are not underneath Westeros because of the Mega War thing, and they're allowed to raid then. Okay, cool. It's a bit disappointing, but if well, now we understand how it works, that's fine. Uh, Hagen arrived at our court. Cool. Just random people being uh, kicked out of other courts. It does look like Hagen might lose all of his wars right now, which would be uh, embarrassing for him, especially as he has a dragon. Uh, he's just sitting sieging. There we go. He's beating an army up. The Vance army is being destroyed. Um, but not much else, yeah. Yeah, um, I think as long as they... Oh, never mind. I was going to say as long as they had their troops over here and sieged things, they'd be fine. Although, it looks like they actually sieged everything over there. The Lannister sieged all of his land, and they have that low a war score? Really? 
Um, like they hold Dragonstone. All oh, right, but there was a battle there. They got 35% war score. Fair enough, fair enough. Levy shifted noble obligations. That's a tax law change. Uh, sort of the High Lord of Rainwood. Yeah, it said uh, the wilds lost and it's been taken by the Stedmonds. Okay. Cool. Looks like Aegon's winning another battle. This time against North. 56% war score. Wow, that battle was worth a lot. Oh, because they hold Brandon Stark prisoner. I see. They might get a white piece out of that if that's what they're looking for. See how it goes for them. And everything else seems to be fine. No, nothing's jumping out at me. And... Autosave. Autosave worked. And I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.